Hey friends, it's not quite spring or summer yet, but we're getting there. And you know what? I've been thinking about it a lot. And I've been thinking about the beach and I've been thinking about doing fun things outside in the nice warm weather, even though I'm still wearing my winter sweater. So today we're going to read a story called Tide Pools. And that's about the, what goes on at the beach. And maybe you've seen a time tide pool. So I'm going to share my screen and we'll talk about it. Tide pools. Have you ever been to a rocky beach? Sometimes there are small areas of water on the shore. If you peek in, what do you see? A little ocean world in a tide pool. At high tide, the sea is at its highest level. Most of the shore is covered with water. As waves roll in, they may crash against the shore. At low tide, the sea is at its lowest level. The waves don't reach as high on the shore. The water is farther out than it was at high tide. At low tide, some water from the high tide gets left behind. The water stays in low spots. These are called tide pools. Who lives here? Many animals and seaweeds live in a tide pool. It's a great place to live. Waves bring new food every day. Lots of sun helps seaweeds to grow. There's some of the things that can live in a tide pool. There's a spider conch, and a limpet, and a sea urchin, and a crab. Sea stars, sea urchins, and seaweeds live in this tide pool. Living things, seaweeds are living things found in water that look like plants, but do not have stems, roots, or leaves. Some crazy looking critters live in tide pools. Many are colorful, some are spiky. A few have long arms and others have frills. These animals can be easy to spot. And that one's a sea slug. Oh, and look, there's a, a chiton and a sea anemone and a sea star, all very pretty. Other animals are hard to spot. This keeps them safe from being eaten. And it says this sculpin fish blends in with what's around it. You can just barely see him, can't you? He's kind of pinkish. Some don't even look like animals, but they are. Mussels and barnacles cling to rocks. Six cool facts about tide pool animals. A, a giant green sea anemone swallows its prey whole. A male sea spider cares for his young. He holds the eggs safely with his legs. An octopus can travel over land. It may leave a tide pool to search for food. I thought octopuses were too big for tide pools, but I guess there's little tiny ones too. A sea cucumber has two feet around its mouth. It catches food with its feet. An abalone is a large snail. It breathes through the rows of holes in its shell. A hermit crab has five pairs of legs. Its two back pairs grip the shell on the inside. And prey is an animal that is eaten by another animal. That was a new word we learned. A tide pool is always changing. Water flows out. The sun warms the tide pool. It may dry out. Then new cool water rushes in. Living things must be strong to survive here. Once that water goes out, right, they wouldn't have the water they need. So they have to wait then for the next tide to bring it in. One danger is how the water moves. It rushes in and out. It can wash away living things, so they need to stick to the rocks. Lots of seaweeds have anchors that hold them in place. Many animals grip with sticky tube feet. Other living things have threads. You can see his threads right there, little white. 
Drying out is another danger, so plants and animals have ways to stay wet. Lots of animals close their shells or bodies. This keeps water inside. Others stay wet by hiding under seaweeds. Underwater, a green sea anemone opens to stretch out its tentacles. Out of water, the anemone's tentacles roll up inside its body. A sea star's body helps it survive. It has spiny skin that protects the sea star from harm. It has eye spots at the tip of each arm and they sense light. Those help find food. And then it has tube feet on its underside and those act like suckers. They help the sea star to eat, move and stay in one place. Arms can open the shells of mussels and clams. Sea stars eat the insides. An arm can grow back if it gets cut off. We can't do that, can we? No. A mouth is used to eat, of course, but this one is not like yours. A sea star's stomach pushes out of its mouth. Its stomach enters the shell of another animal to eat it. You'll find tide pools all over the world. They are in cool areas and warm areas. The plants and animals in them can be different, but many are the same. Tide pools are great places to explore. And then it says these pictures show close up views of different things. What do you think some of those things are, right? Because these things can help an animal stick to the rocks and these might crash against the shore. And then animals hide under these to stay wet. And this animal can grow back an arm if it's cut off. Oh, and this one has five pairs of legs. That's right, I hear you saying that out there. I hear that. And these animals cling to rocks. Oh, you got a lot of those right. Good job, friends. Oops, almost done. We can't move it here. There we go. And prey is an animal that is eaten by another animal. We learned that word and seaweeds, living things found in water that look like plants but don't have stems, roots, or leaves. And then we learn the word survive, which means to stay alive. And we learn the word tide, the rising and falling of the sea level, usually two times a day. Yeah, so we learned lots of things in that story, didn't we? And you know what? I'm excited now for summer. I'm even more excited because when spring or summer comes, I think I'm gonna to go to a beach and look for a tide pool and see if I see any animals living in there. How about you? Are you gonna try that too? All right, maybe I'll see you at the beach. All right, have a great day, friends. Bye-bye.